pretty much everything you need to know about taming and using a Void Worm in Ark Survival Evolved. Void Worms can only be located within the center space biome of the Ark Genesis Part 2 DLC map. Given their large number of spawn points, quick movement speed, and highly aggressive nature towards other wildlife, they can be found pretty much anywhere within this biome. Using an S-plus tech transmitter, I was able to scan and locate all of the current spawns on the map, so you can use these rough coordinates if you'd like. If you're still having trouble locating them, just keep an eye out for the Boneyard of Failed Survivors and the Blankets of Electricity Vomit to bag yourself a TERMINATOR WYVERN! Forget the T-1000, this thing has f***ing dragon wings. So how do you go about taming one of these Robocop Mushu love childs, you might ask? Well, Void Worms are, quite unfortunately, a passive tame that will only consume mutagen as a food source. Mutagen can be acquired by either harvesting the mutagen plants within Rockwell's innards biome, or by crafting them inside of a chemistry bench. The amount of mutagen needed for a Void Worm scales with its level and is based upon your server's taming rates, so it's always best practice to use a taming calculator to determine how much mutagen you're going to need. Once you've acquired the mutagen, place it on the last slot of your hotbar like you do for any other passive tame. Now comes the tricky part. In order to tame a Void Worm, you must first damage it down to a certain percentage of its health, similar to the process required to become impregnated by a Reaper Queen. Pump shotguns, fabricated sniper rifles, or compound bows work very well for this, and the ammunition is typically affordable. You may also need a riot shield and medical brews for one of the steps of the taming process later on. Void Worms can't be trapped by any form of structure because they can chew through them faster than you can tab out of Pornhub. Because of this, I would recommend one of the following two methods to make DPSing it down a little bit easier. Method number one is to simply DPS the Void Worm from ranged, then use your exosuit to quickly fly away before it can reach you. While this method is effective, it's also very dangerous and you risk flying into other Void Worms in the area while attempting it. Method number two is to sit on the back of a Stegosaurus set to hardened plates mode while you DPS it down using a ranged weapon. Shimon! Hoo! Make sure your Stegosaurus is set to passive before beginning to tame the Void Worm, as if not, it could really mess things up in just a minute. Void Worms are capable of dismounting you from pretty much any creature or rideable structure, but the Stegosaurus's plates will protect you. You can use HLNA's creature scanning ability to keep an eye on its health level and ensure you're not damaging it down too much. I would highly recommend this method over method number one, because it is far safer and far easier as the taming method progresses. Regardless of whichever method you choose, once the Void Worm gets low enough on health, it'll begin uncontrollably squirting blue jet jizz out of the base of its wings. This is where the actual taming process can begin. I would recommend DPSing the Void Worm down just a little bit further until it's close to death, as if it gains too much health back when you're in the middle of taming it, it'll dismount you. You'll need to either sit on the back of the Stego until the Void Worm takes a break from using its breath, or tank the DPS with a shield while you progress towards it. Approach it from the sides, and once you're close enough, you'll see the prompt to mount it by pressing the E key. From this point forwards, the tame plays out in a similar fashion to taming an Equus. You'll have to feed the Void Worm mutagen at appropriate intervals by pressing the E key. You'll know when it's time because the Void Worm will begin a barrel roll while you're riding it, but it's a much safer bet to pay attention to the visual cue at the bottom middle of your screen. If you accidentally feed the Void Worm at the wrong time, or you're too slow with feeding it, you'll be dismounted and the taming percentage and effectiveness will decrease. During all my testing, I was dismounted about every fourth or fifth bite and would have to tank some damage and remount the Void Worm, but it didn't lose any taming effectiveness when I did this, only a slight amount of progress, so I believe this is actually an intentional mechanic. I found it a lot safer to return to your tamed Stego and remount it before trying to hop back on the Void Worm, as if you get the Void Worm aggroed in your Stego, it makes trying to mount it a lot easier. It's a good idea to use some medical brews between feeding the Void Worm to heal up some before the next dismount. Simply repeat the process of feeding it mutagen when prompted to complete the taming process. Once tamed, the Void Worm can be ridden straight away without a saddle, similar to the other wyverns in the game. Void Worms will consume meat products as a food source from here on out. Void Worms can be bred to produce fertilized eggs via the Enable Mating option within their radial wheel menu. Alright, so let's dive into the controls and functionality of the Void Worm to showcase some of what it can do. Functionally speaking, Void Worms are very similar to other wyverns in the game. Pressing the left mouse button will perform a basic bite ability. Pressing the right mouse button will breathe electricity in a wide cone shape. Pressing the space bar will shift between landing and flying. Pressing the shift key will provide a moderate speed boost when moving. Pressing the C key will perform a super flap, which can be used to knock back enemies or harvest resources such as wood, thatch, or cactus sap. Pressing the C key while flying will pick up a nearby creature. Void Worms feature a fairly fast-based movement speed, often outpacing many other creatures in the game. As a downside to this, their turn radius is quite large and can sometimes be clunky to control. They feature a very high base stamina pull that drains very slowly with their basic movement, but their special abilities will consume it quite fast. Their breath can be used to stun and dismount enemy players from their tames, and even works to dismount players on rideable structures such as the Tech Skiff. This breath is capable of damaging all tiers of structures, but is not as powerful as a wiki page would suggest. It is able to wipe out Tech Skiffs pretty easily though. 
As a downside to their breath, it has a very short range, making it really obsolete in a lot of situations. It would be a much safer bet to use this base-eating ability post-raid to get into certain rooms or finish wiping out certain sections of a base, similar to how an Arthoplura would be used. Unfortunately, their breath becomes quite weak against hostile creatures once it's been tamed, typically only dealing between 0 to 1 damage per tick. Alright, so with all these controls and functionality in mind, what is the Void Worm's main use? Aside from giving me a whole new set of nightmare creatures to think about in the impending apocalypse. Well, given their fast movement speed, decent carry weight, and high DPS output, I would categorize the Void Worm as either a travel mount or a PvP mount. If a travel mount is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into stamina and weight, with optional point investment into health and melee damage. As aforementioned, the Void Worm's base movement speed is quite high, and their stamina pool drains very slowly, making them excellent for sustained travel across the arcs. Coupled with their decent carry weight and affinity for gathering meat products, and you have yourself an excellent traveling and harvesting companion. If a PvP mount is what you're looking for, you want to invest mainly into health, stamina, and melee damage, with optional point investment into weight. Void Worms are capable of dishing out decent DPS with their bites, making them a solid choice for wiping out enemy tames. Coupled with their ability to dismount enemy players and the ability to damage all tiers of enemy structures, and you have yourself an invaluable tool in PvP. Alright, well that about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed, please be sure to give this video a like down below, subscribe to the channel with notifications on to stay up to date on all of my latest content, join the Discord for a community of like-minded woodland creatures, and please keep leaving me comments because...